Hey guys, it's Jordan from Distant Tomb. What? It's Jake from Distant Tomb as well. And we're just here <laughs> to tell some crazy... Oh, don't forget about Henry. <laughs> don't forget Henry. And I'm Henry from Distant Tomb. Yeah, we're just here to tell some like crazy tour stories we have. And this one's... We weren't going to tell this, but this is pretty crazy, right? We're driving between a town called Chicago and another town called St. Louis. And halfway in between, like, I was sleeping. Just up in this bunk right here. And uh, we got kind of boxed in by three SUVs. Blacked and, out SUVs. Yeah, blacked out SUVs. And as they pulled over, they jumped out and they were all in like SWAT gear and came onto the RV and were like, they had their machine guns out and stuff and they were ready to go. And I think they thought we were some tour, some sort of like drug smugglers and we ended up having to get out of the RV and like put up against it and they, they touched us in some places that I'm, they touched us in some places and then, uh, yeah, I don't know what they were looking for. That was just a pretty crazy experience. They were just fully tore our RV from top to bottom looking for... Who drugs, knows what. essentially. Yeah, maybe drugs. Machine guns and dogs definitely are serious police officers. So, thankfully, they just found uh, five dumb Australians in their <laughs> RV with uh, a lot of piss containers in the uh, stairwell. So, um, yeah, they were very confronted when they came on. There was a uh, piss jug alley was in full effect at that time. and. There was a lot of urine containers that, there. They asked a question, <clears throat> is that urine? <laughs> and we had to ashamedly say yes, because it we kind of turned into a game at that point to collect as many as possible. We were up to double digits for sure. <laughs> it's interesting to see with urine containers, you can see how well hydrated everyone is on tour. Yeah, and it's a good indicator. And not very hydrated, it appears. <laughs> so we got searched by the DEA and they went through all of our shit, all of our luggage, went through all of our money, went through all our merch, everything. And they Just let us keep all of our piss jugs, thankfully. They didn't yeah. confiscate any, and uh, so everything turned out fine. They didn't test them either. Turns out there's no law in Missouri for the number of piss containers <laughs> you can have in your vehicle. <laughs> your vehicle. That's it. That's our crazy story.